Good morning, my name is Mike Birch. I'm the assistant sales manager here for Curtis Trailers at the Beaverton store. Uh, I've been selling vacations on wheels for 34 years now. The reason I chose Gateway to do my walkthrough this morning is uh, they choose to keep themselves separated from the rest of the RVs in the industry with a lot of items I will show you this morning. One of the things that I like about Gateway is they make a painted front cap on their coach. It rolls over both sides and front and rear. It has a cut corner design which gives you an 88 degree turning radius, uh, allows you to pull the fifth wheel with a short bed pickup. Uh, Gateway uses uh, frameless windows on their coach. They're designed for people who want to take a luxury home on the road with them. Gateway chooses to put a six point auto leveling system versus some manufacturers who do a four point and it's simply a push the button you stand back and watch the unit level itself with six points of leveling versus four gives you a lot more stability. Some of the things that se separate Gateway from the rest of the manufacturers is their high gloss gel coat sides that we spoke about. This is an infused color that actually gets into the fiberglass itself and it gives you a nice luxury colored exterior versus the run of the mill white you see all over the road. Then they have a unique outside entrance to the bathroom. So this gives a, this is a second bathroom or a two bathroom coach. Uh, so your guests do have their own bathroom, but allows you to come in and out directly to the bathroom and not, you know, walk through the coach. It also allows an open air concept for visiting with mother nature. Gateway also offers a uh, outside quick disconnect fitting. It's a like an air chuck for propane for using your barbecue. They also put racks and ladders on, which has become kind of rare in the RV uh, industry. Allows you to get up and do your roof maintenance, um, or if you happen to go to a sporting event or an activity where you want to get up on the roof and sit with your lawn chairs and, and get a little bit better bird's eye view. This particular floor plan, which is one of my favorites, has five slides on it. Uh, with five slides, it allows almost the entire unit to expand when you get somewhere, which obviously makes a huge unit inside when you do get to your campsite. Uh, they do some really nice things. They extend their dump stations out to where you don't have to crawl underneath the coach uh, to access your sewer hose. Everything is in one compartment here, so your pull tanks for your three exterior holding tanks, your fresh water tank hookups, outside showers, everything is in one station. It's in a one-piece rotocast plastic, so if it does get dirty for any reason, you can hose it out and it drains through the bottom. They put a 10-gallon hot water heater on here instead of six. You actually get a decent shower on here, and it is a quick recovery, so you can take you know pretty much back-to-back -back showers. And they always put slam baggage doors on them. One of the largest quality features on a gateway is the underside of their slides is in a rock-hard material opposed to a fiberglass mesh, which you can wear holes in as it rolls in and out over the years. Why don't you come on inside? We'll look at a few inside features. The Gateway was designed around full-time use or at least extended living in their coaches. All the amenities in their coaches are as if you would need at home. They have a residential style refrigerators which gives you an 18 cubic foot refrigerator versus your normal 6 or 8 cubic foot. They have hard surface countertops. They have Euro hinges on the doors like all your Highline homes have. They have ball bearing roller guides on your drawers so you can actually put some weight in them without breaking. 22 inch ovens, solid surface countertops with stainless steel undermount sinks. Their stitching on all of their fabrics is above, sets it off like your Highline furniture. It's a very soft feel to the, to the pleather on there. All of the lighting in here is a pancake LED lighting, which gives you um, a lot less battery power usage. Uh, also, no heat comes off, and the lights last probably 50 times as long as an incandescent bulb, and they're all wall switch operated, opposed to having to reach up and switch it. The dinette table is also a solid surface countertop, like your kitchen counters. It is a movable table here, so if you get larger or smaller people or like to use it as a picnic table or a, a, a coffee table, it does fall down into place. It is a U-shaped dinette for a lot more comfortable seating. And the reason I brought you to this gateway today was all about this particular floor plan. It is brand new. Come on in the bedroom. This is a floor plan I've never seen before. They offer a lot of bunk bed floor plans in a lot of different units, but folks are always asking for a secondary bed as in a two bedroom. This is a two bedroom model, so you have your Queen Island walk around bed here. But over on this side, you have an additional bunk for a child with an immense amount of storage under here. Goes all the way across for a wardrobe plus a bank of drawers on each side, plus a secondary bathroom for your guests. You might notice that this has a residential style tub with an angled back, for just like you would have at your home. Once again, gateways are you know, based around residential living. Love the touch of the inside of the sink lit up, Highline. 
In the master suite, Gateway offers a king size bed, which is a residential king. They do nice touches like putting the banks of shelves down each side of the bed for knickknacks. Full walk-in wardrobe across the front, this lit up. They also offer washer dryer compartment that's vented if you choose to put a, either a single unit or a stack washer dryer. They also have two air conditioning units in all gateways, allows a lot better airflow, and you can cool separate areas uh, because there is two thermostats. Time to sign off and watch a movie now. Appreciate you joining me for this video. Once again, my name is Mike Birch with Curtis Trailers, and uh, if you'd like to come in and take a look at some units, please ask for me when you come in. Thanks.